Alright guys, hello, I'm back with another video, and before I get into today's video, uh, I know I haven't uploaded in a month, and it's because I've been busy, school started up again, and we're like, getting like the floors ready for like the rest of the flooring, but I'm going to have a house tour on that probably soon. My hair is starting to grow in, so that's pretty nice. Today, uh... I'm gonna be building my own custom keyboard. Got PCB right here. And I'm gonna see my address black that out, boy. Got some switches. Got uh, grapefruits. And then I had some old uh, keycaps I had. I'm gonna get better ones eventually. Let's get right into this video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start off opening up the PCB and pull out the switches right here and then just put it together. The PCB is wrapped up in some plastic stuff. Underneath, uh, got the cord and then like the, the spacebar thing. Uh, this is actually so if you want to have two like buttons for your spacebar and like just split it in half, as you can see here, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, cord is uh, it's fabric. It's nice, like every other cord. I got the PCB out of. <laughs> the wrapper and it's kind of a good size uh i can already tell it's not stable as you can see and on the back it's rubber feet four of them and you got the where you put the cable and i'm probably going to get coil cable so that's nice this is how it looks like also it looks to come with uh oh it comes with a keycap puller and a switch puller but you already know i don't need that stuff so throw that back away. The reason I don't need that stuff is because I got a new switch puller, a keycap puller, switch puller, and a tweezer thingy. So yeah. Okay guys, now that I got the PCB out, I'm going to be taking out the switches, putting it open. But you guys have no clue how long I've been wanting to open these up so I got this like a week earlier than the PCB so yeah got the grapefruit switches voila and, and also in the box it comes with a sticker a dang cube sticker yeah uh, so the grapefruits are a 5 pin and I'll make sure I have everything linked in the description if you guys want to do something like this so yeah here is the, uh, here's the sound they make. But yeah, let's start building this keyboard. Also guys, uh, if you're wondering how much these cost, uh, they're like 20 bucks, I'm pretty sure I got 80 of them just in case like something broke, but yeah. Okay guys, like, well, this one has a bent pin so I can't use it. So yeah. Uh, there seem to only be like two bent switches, so that's good. But that's why you order extra so that doesn't happen. 
All right guys, uh, I did finish putting the switches in and I do have it plugged in. Uh, my phone did end up dying, but the only part that it did miss was me just making sure all the switches worked, which they do. And besides, there was one, but it's fine. I switched it out. But now I'm just gonna put the keycaps on, so yeah. Okay guys, uh, I finished putting all the keycaps on, and boy, this is amazing. Here's a little sound test. Alright guys, right now I'm going over the RGB, and as you guys can see, uh, it has a voice option, where like, it can detect your voice, so yeah. Here's the next option. As you can see. And uh, you can change the colors. And you can change the uh, brightness, which is P, F, N, and P. You can see it's going down, and then it's parentheses go back up. And that's basically it. Kind of cool. Yeah, now I'm going to be doing a sound test. Well guys, that is it with this video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more videos like this, make sure you, you like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I haven't been uploading, but I should be uploading a lot more since uh, I'm not as busy anymore. And I should have a house tour coming soon. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.